What is happening, people? Hey, guys. Uh, it is April 24th, and uh, we are at Heiko Lake today, and we're going to be doing a uh, little crappy fishing. Got my brother Nate in the back of the boat. And as far as I know, uh, the crappy should be on the bank good by now. And uh, water temperature is up at 66 degrees. And uh, these fish should be spawning. And uh, we started in the cove. We got a lot of trees down this bank line right here. We're gonna just search those trees. Good spawning trees, shallow water, and see what we can come up with. Hey guys, stay with me, and I hope you enjoy the video. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. Nice one right there, y'all. Woo, doggy boy. Wild life adventures, that's how we roll. <laughs> you know, we're fishing along this, uh, this bank line. Let me show it to you. So if you come to a lake, uh, you know, find you a cove this time of year. It's got a lot of structure in it. It just fish that structure. We're fishing in between the structure, pitching up to the bank. And, you know, just looking for a concentration of fish. You know, and eventually we'll find a concentration of fish where we can really catch them. Nathan, there's some fish between us and that dock right there. First little small crappie, a little, little male crappie. So we fished in this cove, we fished some trees, didn't really uh, caught some bass, but didn't really get on any crappie. Uh, Nate caught one, they're about nine and a half inches. That was a male too, right? Uh, yeah. And uh, anyway, we're just fishing these docks. This water is fairly, it's only like four feet where the boat's sitting, so. Uh, in the bank line, it'll cut in and back out. And a lot of times those uh, crappy will back right up. They'll use those posts and those boat docks to spawn around too. A lot of those boat docks has got old tree stumps around them too. So we just fished up this shallow side right here and just picked that first crappy up there. So let's turn around and catch another fish, y'all. So what old Nate got back there? Bad? No, it's crappy. Crappy? He was just mean. Oh yeah, he's good ten and a quarter, ten and a half inch yeah. crappy though. Looks like a female to laying out. See, belly it's a little swelling in the belly. Oh yeah. Yeah, they hit. It's probably 10, 12 feet from the dock. Today I am testing a new rod, Tzak. I hope you can see that right there. Uh, they sent me this rod. I'm testing it for them today. It's a beautiful rod. And uh, this is their classic series. They make three different series. And so in order to test the rod, I've got to fish the thing. And uh, so this is a this is a medium light. This is a medium light rod. And uh, very light, that's what I'll say, and very sensitive. That is my first take on it. And uh, I'm gonna be fishing primarily with it today. Six foot deep. Depends on how aggressive they are. They may not be great. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take that back. Are you on? <laughs> All right. Nope. Yeah, I'm on. All right, a little small one there, about nine and a half inches. Oh. 
Caught him on the that blue hot tail bait, that blue with the chartreuse tail. And uh, these crappie are related to the very end of this tree that's out behind us. It sticks way out. You know, there's some brush in the water. It's still only six foot deep here, so that's still shallow for these fish to uh, to be around. So not only uh, we we fish we fish down that bank there. You got him. Yeah. And uh, you know, up against the bank and didn't catch but just a couple and came back up. So it's very important that you check these trees from the end all the way to the base. And I have seen the base hold the majority of the fish. What is about little male? Yeah, little male. Uh, so it's very important as a fisherman that you come up here and you check that tree from one end to the other. Now I will admit, I came up through here a little fast and I ran right over top of these fish and spooked them. They were sitting right in the top in the limbs and uh, spooked them and we had to go around and come back to them. But let's turn around here and catch another fish. It's just a little fry. Oh, can't help with bites, y'all. So I add this in about this rod. This rod is extremely sensitive uh, right here, this T-Zac rod. Uh, that little crappy, it was no problem. It felt like the whole rod jumped when he hit. Uh, that, that's exactly how it felt. But anyway, uh, we'll keep fishing with this rod. Uh, got stainless steel eyes, Fuji, uh, Fuji inserts. And uh, I have a Shimano reel on it a 1000 Shimano reel with six pound test line. That's uh, basically the same reel I fish with all the time. That's that's how I topped it out. And this, this rod is six foot and 10 inches long. That's what we're looking for, y'all. Boom. Yes, sir. I, I mean, I don't. Look at this, look at this, right there on the tip. He's got a lot of spawning scars right there. Boom, that's a good crappy right there, y'all. Nice. Must have dropped right on him. Well, it's about a nine and a quarter inch crappy. Caught that one good one. Uh, they peeling out. So right off this point, there's a point that comes out here and these crappie are suspended. Small school of them out here on this point. And uh, he liked that lake country hot tail bait. That winter, that's that winter color with the chartreuse tail. Seems that these crappie are kind of small and uh, we might catch one more out of here. Here it comes up. Comes up, boom. I didn't feel him. You didn't feel it? I think it's a wind. I think it winds. I'm gonna come on the side and draw. I think it winds got the line in a loop. Mm -hmm. And you don't feel it because it's pulling against the line. Does that make sense? I mean, you gotta watch that line, Joe. That's why I don't like that green. She got some eggs in her. Like she might be still a little swollen from where she lays. I think we got one peeled out. Is this better? Yeah. Uh, boom. There he is. This is a better fish. This is a 10 and a quarter inch crappie. Boom. Ain't cutting up, ain't it? Good crappie right there. That's a good eating crappie. We're not keeping fish today. Uh, we're just out here fishing, having fun. We know these fish are on the bank, and uh, so we're just having a little fun with them. 
And uh, I think these crappie have pulled out of this cove and suspended uh, out here on the end of this. Uh, I tell you, boys, I'm telling you, this rod, this rod is uh, it's off the hook for sensitivity. And that's a small crappie. And I felt him just the slightest little tick. Uh, you can see he's probably six inches, eight, six and a half inches long. But uh, very sensitive rod. There it goes, there it goes. That's you. Yeah. Get it, there you go. Oh, stop. Right there. Pick up on it. There you go. Good one too, ain't it? Oh, yeah, sir. A good one, no Nick got a good one, boy. Grace. That old slab. Grace. Good, dang. Yes, sir. Did you keep the other big one? Yeah, put him put him in and we'll take a picture of him. I was on Lake Country Bait. Yeah, look at that, boy. Swallowed. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, you could feel him thump it on that rod. You like it? <laughs> yeah, you felt it through the whole rod. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You hit a whole rod, so boom. Oh. There you go, you right there. Oh, oh. You right there. Are you kidding me? Here it comes. Yes, sir, it's a difference. That's a good All right, all right. So I switched uh, I switched baits a little bit. This is the uh, LC Shad. That's the LC Shad in the Slayer color. I think that's what that is. And uh, boom, nice crappy right there, y'all. Almost 11 inch fish. I just switched up baits. Uh, the water has cleared. Remember, I always talk about to match your water color. I know that crappy respond good when the water gets a little clearer here at Heiko uh, to bluish colors. I've always had good luck. Uh, so that's one reason I just switched up to the LC Shad, uh, just to do something a little different. Boom, you run it. Good, hey, look at this, look at this. Go ahead, chop it down. Let me show man. That's a good example. Good gracious. And that joker was. Now that joker, right? Look, look at them fins, y'all. He done wore himself out spawning. Good gracious. Yes, sir. He done wore himself out spawning. Pretty little crappy, y'all. Uh, so we still out here, you can notice, we still out here on this point and there's some fish suspended. Uh, they just kind of scattered out here in the kind of the mouth of this cove right off this point. And we've been talking, we think that the cooler weather has pushed them back off. And uh, that's typical for, for crappy spawning. They'll go up against the bank and spawn and back off and wait. Move up, spawn, and back off again. They don't necessarily do all their spawning at one time. So that's kind of typical. So if you come to the lake and you're catching fish, you know, today, all up against the bank, all around the stumps, you come back three days, four days later, and you're not finding those fish, well, check out in the middle of the cove, check on that first drop off uh, in the mouth of the cove to that deeper water in the main channel, and you just gotta find them, you gotta adapt and you gotta overcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we're seeing a few fish scattered in groups, kind of hanging out in groups, backed off of these walls, off of these banks. You get the hook out of them, I'll show it to you, y'all. You know, just. Hey, that's a good eating size crappie. That's a nine and a quarter inch fish right there. That's Slayer color, LC Shad Baits. Boom, lights out, baby. Hey, got him on that, uh, Nathan's fishing that, uh, he's testing that T-Zac rod out for me. 
and uh, just to get his opinion and uh, in front of, of the rod. And we, we see quite a few crappie kind of out in front of us. And, uh, you know, between here and the bank, and we're st it's still not deep water. And, uh, you know, basically we're just moving around. And, uh, you know, these crappie are here for the simple reason all of those trees in that cove, they probably were around it this weekend spawning. You know, another decent sized crappy. Nine and a half inch fish right there. Nothing wrong with that crappy at all. And, uh, you know, all in all, I always follow that fishing app and the day was so pretty. I had some work to do at the house this morning and I got it done early, you know, putting in a new driveway and I got it finished. And it was so pretty and I called Nathan and I said, hey, let's go fishing. It's absolutely gorgeous this afternoon. And, but the fishing app says poor fishing. And uh, the fishing has been okay, crappy, or uh, they're uh, actually reacting to baits uh, very well, uh, in my opinion. Hey, let's catch another fish, y'all. I don't know if I'm close to that time. Him, yeah. Close enough that time. And that's time to the beach, still got eggs in her. Look. Oh, yeah. She still got eggs. Hey guys, we're getting ready to end this video. Uh, all in all, it's been a good afternoon of fishing. Uh, we have caught a lot of fish. and We've caught some, you know, good sized fish, nine to about 11, 11 and a half inches. And, uh, you know, caught them on the Lake Country baits and uh, tried out a new rod today. And uh, anyway, we found the fish. They were not actually up in the brush. They were actually suspended off of the bank in the center of the cove. I'm out on the end of a point and uh, suspended in anywhere from 8 to 14 feet of water. And small groups of crappie schooled together too. A lot of them's got spawning scars, so they'll be finishing spawning probably here in the next couple of weeks. So now's the time to get to the lake and catch them when they're up shallow, when they're a little bit easier to catch. Uh, so you better get down here and go fishing. Anyway, you remember God is good all the time all the time God is good. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click that like button below. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wildlife. And I'll see you on the road.